Dragon's Den panelist Sarah Willingham and her family opted to make ourselves redundant from our own lives to embark on a mammoth three-year-long trip around the world, and she divulged to Express. Co.uk that she has absolutely no regrets about that decision. Although she had been keen to stay for a third series, she now looks upon her extra long break as the best thing she's ever done. Sarah currently has 10 investments on the go, including running Nightcap, an award-winning family of cocktail bars, but at the end of her second series on Dragon's Den, she opted to get away from it all, leave her TV commitments behind and go abroad to take the children off school to go traveling around the world was the best thing I've ever done and I have absolutely no regrets," she adamantly declared. The reason I left and what I chose to do as an alternative to the show was the best thing I've ever done. Explaining her epic trip, which took in 20 countries including Canada, the Philippines and Australia, she revealed, with a round-the-world ticket, you take in as many sites as you want to as long as you keep going in the same direction. Sarah had previously detailed on Instagram that she defines a successful business as one where she can make herself redundant. As soon as I'm redundant from something, the business is successful because that means it is continuing to operate and grow, but it doesn't need me doing it," she explained. Start something and spend every day working towards the point where the business no longer needs you full-time. Let everyone else shine. This is success. That was the attitude she embodied when she left Dragon's Den and the rest of her commitments behind and embarked on her epic trip. The thing is, in a different world I would have stayed, on the show, much longer," she mused in her interview with Express. Co.uk. Really, you never want to do just one series, you always want to do two, but, after two series, I just couldn't do it to my family or to myself. She had been promising her husband and children that they would break away from the corporate world to go on their travels the year before, already delaying it once so that she could continue on Dragon's Den. Shed absolutely loved the show, having made some cracking investments and lifelong friends in the process. Dotem still very close to them all, and it was just such a fun experience from start to finish. She enthused. If they wanted me to go back again, I would always go back. It's been great fun. Sarah divulged that she's already been invited to appear as a guest on multiple occasions, but the dates haven't yet fitted in with her calendar. In the future, however, she's hopeful for a possible return, especially as she has such fond memories of one of her investments, the crafting club. She divulged that the business she took a chance on is still going extremely well. Meanwhile, Sarah also shared with us one of her favorite memories from her three-year-long journey around the world. We had an incredible five-day explosive experience with a social enterprise called Tao Philippines, she reminisced. As part of a social tourism initiative, she and her family went round all the islands and got a real feeling for how hard it is for people to live out there, when they're eight hours away from a doctor, or eight hours away from a hospital. She added, there, were, no schools, in the area, but it was a really incredible experience where we really felt we were able to give something back to the local community. Dragon's Den airs at 8pm on BBC One.